What's up guys, it's Matt from CorneliusCreations.com and in this video, I'm not only gonna show you, but actually teach you how to transfer letters to wood and power carve them. If you hang around, I promise you might learn something. Let's get started. For an example, here's a tomahawk handle I did right here that has some carved letters on it. Now this was super fun to do. These are actually going out to a client and you can see that carving letters can be pretty fun and cool at the same time. So with that being said, let's get started. What we are doing in this tutorial today will be power carving, but we're gonna go through the process of stenciling letters to wood. So what we need to get started is a piece of wood. Now I picked this piece of trim board up in a two pack for like three bucks at a local craft shop. And if you don't have any local places where you can get this stuff at, I'll put a link below on Amazon. And if you have a piece of wood laying around that will probably work too, you want it to be smooth. But I do really caution against two by fours and stuff made with pine because pine tends to splinter a lot. The second thing we need is some carbon paper to actually transfer our stencil over. Now I picked this up at a local office depot, but you can probably get it at Best Buy, I think. And of course, Amazon, because Amazon has everything. And I'll post a link below. And the rest of the tools we need is a pen and a pair of scissors, and of course, a computer and printer. Let's get started. For the first step, I wanted to bring you guys to my office so I can take you step by step in what you need to do. Now, hopefully you already have a printer and a computer, which mostly everybody does, but a program I will be using is Microsoft Word. And a lot of people already have Word, it's very common. And if you don't, you can download a free trial version from Microsoft.com. Now we will be doing three things essentially. And number one, that we'll be picking our font. Number two, picking our letters, the word we want. And number three, printing that, just pretty basic. So let's get started. I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word here. And the word I think I'm gonna use is the word love. Now this is really small. Let's increase this to size 72. But that's a basic font right here. So I wanna go over here to where my fonts are at. Now, I downloaded this font right here from 1000freefonts.com called Nubora. I'm really liking it. Love the way it looks. And there we go. Now, we just ran into a problem. Okay, the problem we have right here is that this wood is long and we need to stretch out our font. Now, you can see the paper right here is in portrait mode and we have a piece of the wood hanging off. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep this in portrait and show you just how to stretch that font across there. Let's get started. Okay, and we're back here on the computer and I need to just backspace out of all this and here's what you need to do and make a note of this. This will help you a whole lot. Go to insert. After you go to insert, go to word art right here. You can choose all these ones. I'm gonna choose this one right here with the shadow right here because that's gonna help me a lot um, because it adds more thickness to our word. Now we're gonna add our word back, which is love. Now, if you go to drag this, you notice it's not making the font any bigger. So here's what we need to do. Highlight this. After you highlight it, go to text effects right here. Click on it. Go to transform at the very bottom and go to the first one that says square right here. Click on it. And there we go. Now look at what happens. We can stretch that thing on out here. Now you see, as I'm stretching this out right here, I mentioned portrait mode while I go. We're in portrait mode right now, not landscape. So as we go across, you go across here, just like that. And if I bring it back, it comes back. And for the time's sake of the video, I'm gonna keep this in portrait mode. One thing we will do is go to layout and go to, let me click off of here. Go to layout, the margins. I'm gonna to go to narrow. So that gives me more real estate to work with. Okay, I'm going back to home, click on that. And let's get um, what I think looks good. Okay, now let's print this off and see how it looks. Okay, we just printed out our font and I think it's a pretty good size. Okay, this is looking pretty good for the first try. Now, if you make a mistake on this, no worries. You can go back and resize this to fit the project you're doing. What we will be doing next is taking some scissors and cutting right along here. And this is what it looks like right here. Now the next step is to take our carbon paper, like you see right here, and cutting out a piece the same height and width as this. So what this paper is actually doing is transferring carbon to the other side. 
it looks just like pencil lead. Okay, we just got that cut out. And what you wanna do is make sure that your carbon part is always face down. And I've messed up before by having it face up, but we want this carbon to be able to transfer onto our wood. So we wanna put this face down and the white part is the back part. We're gonna put the font right over there or the piece of paper. And the next step is to actually take some tape and taper off the edges right here with small bits of tape. Now when you do this, make sure you don't get large piece, pieces and put it around here because you can cover up the carbon part. Make sure everything is all centered. Let's make sure all the air is out of there. Okay, we just got the tape on here. Here's what it looks like. Now when I turn it around, you can see the tape on the back part and take note when you flip it over it's not covering up the actual ink where we are going to trace at. So the next thing to do is to tape this to the wood. So that's what we are going to do right now. Okay the next step is to center this up on the piece of wood. So I'm going to get this center and I am going to go along the edges with the tape and tape it up. Okay, right now we're gonna trace around the outer edges of all these letters right here. Now when you're doing this, don't apply just a ton of pressure where you rip the paper, but apply an adequate amount of pressure. And also when you're doing this, try not to rub it too much with your palm of your hand because you could actually smudge some of the carbon down there. So here's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start right here. We're going to go along with an adequate amount of pressure. Okay, we just got through tracing this off. I'm going to give this another trace just to thicken up my edges just a tad bit. I just do this to help everything be even because when I actually carve this, I can cover up a lot of the mistakes if I make one. We are finally finished. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see how this turned out. Okay, now let's peel this off right here. Oh yeah. Wow. Looky there. That looks really good. You can see when the smudge is right here where I had my palm at. So like I said, we can sand that off though. Okay guys, we are ready to power carve this. If you have liked this video so far, be sure to click like or hit the subscribe if you would like to because I plan on doing a ton of more tutorials like this. Now if you haven't checked out my other video on power carving, also leave the link down in the description box because I will cover a lot of techniques that, that I'm going to use in this video. And you may want to check out that before you do something like this because it will help you. So let's get started. Okay, we got the initial cut done. Now I'm gonna go around and take out all this space right here and clean up around the edges and sand it. Okay, not bad. I still have to clean up around the edges a little bit 
and we're gonna take a bigger carbide burr and just stipple the whole thing here. Okay, we just got through stippling this right here. I think that looks pretty good right there. Now the next thing we are gonna do is use a wood burner and go around the edges to create depth and make those fonts pop. Now, if you haven't caught my tutorial on how to use wood burning to create depth on your wood carvings, also leave a link in the description and that will give you an in-depth guide to this. So let's get started. That's cool, the smoke's rolling right at the, uh, at the, at the wind. It looks epic. Okay guys, here is the finished product right here. I'm pretty happy the way this turned out, you know, adding the wood burner to it and the flame just added a new dimension to it. So we have one more thing left to do, and that is stain and urethane. And now we are going to add some urethane. You guys hit the like button if you would like and hit the subscribe button if that's your thing. I should have a lot more tutorials coming out soon. You guys take care. Thank you.